crypto slow, cryptocurrency news, and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? So, Ethereum has been having a problem lately where your TX gets stuck pending and then it just sticks for a certain pair. So, what happens is your TX actually gets dropped and replaced with a new TX. So what you have to do is you have to overwrite that TX with a higher gas fee. So the solution is to replace that transaction. And we do that by replacing the nonce. So every transaction from your wallet has what's called a nonce. So if you go to your MetaMask, click on the dots, whoops, click on the circle, and then click on settings. You're going to go down to advanced and what you're going to do is scroll down until you see a thing called a nonce. This is normally turned off. It's going to normally be in this off position, but you want to turn it to the on position, okay? So, once you've done that, you're good to go. Click out of that. Okay, now Let's just say I had this transaction. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to show you what it looks like on Etherscan. So I look at this on Etherscan, but then if I click the TX and click to see more, you'll see that this transaction had a nonce. So if this transaction said pending, it was stuck or replaced or whatever, that is the nonce. Basically, that nonce is a, it is a, a, a unique identifier out of your wallet of that transaction okay so I know that that transaction was 457 so now that I have my nonces on I'm gonna go back to MetaMask I'm gonna hit send I'm gonna send it to myself okay send it to myself hit send I'm going to send it to myself I'm gonna send zero ETH and I'm going to click fast. It shouldn't be that expensive. Hit next. And what you're going to notice is I have the ability to put in the nonce. So in essence, I am taking that specific transaction and I'm replacing it with a new transaction that's faster with higher gas fees. Okay. So let's go back through that again. So I'm going to hit send. I'm going to send it to myself. I'm going to do a zero ETH transaction and I'm going to click to fast. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to put in the target not. So in this case it was 457. Now you wouldn't want to do this with a transaction that is successful. This is for a pending transaction. The problem is is that if you're trying to trade something and your original transaction got replaced with a new transaction that's the problem. So MetaMask is like out of sync so you can't control what happens. So then you hit confirm and I got this RPC error, but you know what? That's okay. When I went back to Uniswap, it seemed to clear the transaction out of there. So hope this helps. This is CryptoSlow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.